Eyewitness News at 9 continues. And we're back now with Dr. David Schultz with Evansville Primary Care answering your questions tonight about the coronavirus. And Dr. Schultz, this is a good one here. Have there been any reports of lingering damage in people who have recovered from COVID-19? Brenda, there are several reports of lingering damage from those who are recovering from COVID-19. The number one uh, uh, area is in the lungs. Uh, we're seeing a lot of individuals get lingering lung effects uh, some several weeks after the initial infection. Our hope is eventually the body will allow itself to repair and that tissue would become back to normal without significant scarring. It's interesting to note that with pneumonia, sometimes it will leave lingering scar tissue uh, after it's resolved. So it's not apparent whether this will happen or not with this. Okay. A viewer just called in asking, uh, she said that she shopped at Kroger, which is now reporting tonight that some of its employees have been infected with the virus. She hasn't been there for two weeks and she does not have a fever. Is she okay? Should she be worried? Well, with an, an individual who was exposed greater than 14 days ago, that individual should be okay. Uh, generally speaking, it's a 14-day isolation period from exposure. And most cases of COVID-19 will occur about four to five days after the initial exposure. Okay. We've had some reports that those who are taking hydroxychloroquine are also being told to take zinc at the same time. Why is that? Well, both of these medications are very interesting. First of all, the way the Plaquenil works is, or the hydroxychloroquine, it works to decrease the environment at which the, cell, the uh, viral particles replicate. And in doing so, it decreases replication. Interestingly enough, zinc does sort of the same thing. It reduces the ability of the virus to replicate and it interferes with that transmittance of genetic information to produce additional viral cells. So you're actually interfering with viral replication rates. Could it be a good idea for us to take a zinc supplement every day? Well, Brandon, we've been recommending to our patients to start zinc sulfate every day. It usually comes around 220 milligrams. And I would take that once or twice a day for at least the next three to six weeks. We've also recommended vitamin D at about 2,000 international units a day. And then the other medication, of course, vitamin C at 500 milligrams twice a day. All of these boost the immune system, but zinc is unique from the standpoint. It actually slows down the rate of viral replication. That is very good to know. Is it possible that some people could still have the virus and never get sick, but still pass it along to other people? Well, that's very much so debated, and they're still debating that topic and probably will for months to come. We do know that the primary method of transmittance is through coughing and through respiratory secretions. So an individual who's asymptomatic, in theory, should have a much lower ability to pass the virus on to others. But we have been testing those individuals and are finding that they still are able to uh, secrete a significant amount of viral particles that can indeed in fact, an individual. So it's been shown that that's happened. Okay. A viewer just called in wanting to know, can mosquitoes transmit the coronavirus? They've been looking into that as well. That's a, a very interesting area of research. And uh, from almost the first moments we heard of COVID-19, research went into that area. But right now, mosquitoes have not served as a vector to transmit that virus to other individuals. So it's safe to say right now that, that we're not anticipating mosquitoes to be able to spread the viral uh, COVID-19 to others. What about our mental health? Should we be concerned about that right now as well? Brandon, we're seeing a lot of individuals with a lot of stress, anxiety, even quite a bit of depression. And we hear the word social distancing, which I wanna emphasize is very important. But we actually need to be physically distanced from other people. Socially, we should be calling our friends and our neighbors, checking on each other. We should be getting on social media and making sure everyone's okay. Uh, in fact, today we had our daughter call one of her friends on, and do some FaceTime, and, and that's very important because we have to communicate with others. Uh, no one's an island to themselves. Dr. David Schultz, you always have great information. Thank you so much for being with us again tonight. I appreciate it. Pleasure.